Who has a very secret, messy drawer in their kitchen? Raise your hands. Hello again, Remodelaholics. I'm Cassidy. Welcome back to our DIY channel. We've been organizing for the last few projects and we're not done yet. Today, our team is tackling one of the most common disorganization spots in our house, the utensil drawer. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know about you, but it seems like silverware and kitchen utensils should be an easy fix since every house has them, but with different drawer widths and the vast amounts of utensils every household accumulates, most of the utensil drawers look less like a magazine and more like an episode of Hoarders. Or is that just mine? I do love dishes, so there's a problem with that. And even though you can buy a drawer organizer at any local store, it is not one size fits all. I hate it when you buy a drawer organizer and your spoons are too long to fit in the space that they have allotted for your spoons. It's happened to me so many times. So this drawer organizer is easy to customize the size of your drawer and items. And it's pretty inexpensive since it's built from plywood. To maximize available space, we tried quarter inch plywood first, but womp womp, after a couple of days, it started to warp and bend. So this drawer organizer got a revamp with half inch plywood and no more warping. So just remember that if you're trying to use scraps, don't go with anything less than half an inch. For the first step, you will measure your drawer's length and width and depth. Once you know the space you have to work with, look at the contents of your drawer, clear out anything that shouldn't be in that particular drawer, get rid of things you don't use, and then organize what's left and clean out the drawer. This part is important because you have to know exactly what's gonna go in the drawer and what size of spaces you need. An easy way to test out the divider layout is by using washi tape, since it's about the same size and width as the plywood. Keep in mind that you'll be adding channels for the dividers to slide into, so having two or more pieces run the full width or length of the drawer will help keep things square and stable. And you can use the full length pieces as pressure points with dividers as spacers. Planning a tight-fitting organizer drawer like this means that you won't have to use any glue so you can remove dividers later if you want or adjust them very easily and it makes it so much easier for cleaning up little dust and crumbs that fall into drawers. Use a table saw or circular saw to cut a 2x4 sheet of half inch plywood into 3 inches by 2 foot strips. You can also have the hardware store cut the strips of plywood for you or you could spend a little more money and buy a one by three board instead. No matter what material you use, bring the strips into your house for a few days to acclimate and prevent warping, bowing, and shrinking. Take a minute to plan your cuts to maximize the number of dividers you can get from each plywood strip. You can see an example cut list and layout over at remodelaholic.com. But remember, everybody's drawer sizes are a little bit different, so you might have to customize a little bit. Next, create channels for the dividers to slide into. Set the table saw blade to remove 1 8 inch of material. Adjust the fence to the width of your first divider section and run the board through the saw. Adjust the face another 1 8 inch and run the board through the saw again. Continue adjusting the saw by 1 8 inch increments until the removed section of the channel measures a half inch to fit the plywood. Now, just repeat this process for the other channels. Sand the edges to prevent splinters. You can also seal the wood to make it more wipeable if you'd like. We started by placing the first channeled piece against the front of the drawer, inserting the divider, and inserting the next channeled piece. Next, we added the next layer of pieces and then measured the remaining space and cut pieces that size to fit in snugly and hold everything in place. It turned out that the chopsticks needed more 
than half of the drawer width, so the tension fitting made it easy to adjust to just the right size. For the larger utensil drawer, the entire drawer organizer is held in place with tension. So we cut pieces the width of each section and the length of the drawer and then measured exactly the remaining space to cut two pieces that size to hold it together. And then the fun part, we loaded all the utensils back in the drawer in their new home sweet home. What do you think of those new organized drawers? These drawer dividers could easily be built for bathroom vanity drawers, desk drawers, and that junk drawer that every home has. In fact, my husband has three. <laughs> hey. Sorry, babe, it's true. If it gets organized, can it still be called a junk drawer though? So maybe we should let him do this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to subscribe for all new videos. For more great organizing ideas, watch our playlist of the best organizing projects here and be sure to check out this mini mason jar spice rack too. The mini mason jars are the best. They are so cute. See you guys next week.